you notice there's a couple different styles of batteries here there's a big square battery it's a nine and a half hour battery um, if you're going to a pit make sure you have all the batteries from that same tool uh, generation in the same pit uh, if you guys need to change batteries out just let me or Gary know um, that way we can keep them rotating and we're not getting half charged batteries in pits and, and just fumble around through that so uh, one of the other things we want to just be careful with is uh, as these tools start migrating in and the, the handles are made out of aluminum they're not made for a fulcrum to set the tool and then just pry off them so if the tool's migrating in and you're going to damage the back of the tool or, or the handle, uh, just reset and take another bite. Uh, you know, we, we have to maintain these things and, and these are my demo tools, so I have to go out and show these to customers. So, um, keep them as best. we're pretty good at watching that too. So, um, as you're using them also, you'll notice the tone of the tool. When it starts to wind down, you can hear it slowing down a little bit. Um, that's when you want to check the back of the tool make sure you don't have it in a place where you can't get the battery out. So um, if you're operating a tool or if you're not operating the tool, um, you should be watching what's going on. If you see someone that's, you know, the operator is going to be watching the front of the tool most likely. Uh, if you see something that's going to come up or pinch hands or, or the back of the tool, just, just stop them, have them repositioned. So other than that, they uh, work just like every other tool. So thanks. Uh, 42s. Everybody, anybody need a review on 42s or a uh, refresher on that? Or is it, who's using 42s? Pretty much everybody. So you guys know pin two colors, uh, 45 to 70 on the angle. Um, other than that, it's pretty much straightforward. We're going to go over it in the pits anyway, so we can refresh you there. Big, big thing is the 42s. If you're not familiar with them, when you pull them out, the blue comes out first. If the blue is as much as you need, you double pin the base. As soon as white comes out, we pin the top hole. Right? Don't over mongo them because all there is is an aluminum retention pin in there. It'll pop out of it or it can break. Okay, when we do this, the quick down and dirty way, I didn't go over it in the classroom, but a quick down and dirty way to get a 45 degree angle wherever your insertion point is. We're going to go 20 to 24 inches above that. Okay? So my insertion point's here. I'm going to pull the tip up to there. I'll pin it and then I'm going to stick it. Okay? Remember, we're not building a watch. Close enough. Okay, but by doing that's gonna keep you from kicking it out and messing with it. Right? So when you do it, we're gonna pull it all the way out in my pit. We'll talk about a little bit more of a team approach. Anything else? Domer?